Hello and welcome to this channel where I share tips and tricks on how to get the most out of X-Plane 12. Today we're using X-Plane 12.3.0, the fourth beta. And I want to show you how to get the most out of planning your next flight. So jump in with me to find out more. Here is your flight configuration window. And we're gonna look at the four areas of the flight configuration window and how you can use it to plan your next experience and customize it to just what you want for your flight sim session. So we're gonna start first with the aircraft selection. And this is an area that personally I overlook a lot, but as I've been playing around with this, it's really helped me customize each flight. First area that you can make your selection is in the class of aircraft. So here you can select airliner if all you want to do is fly airliners. You can see what's in your hangar and you can simply make a selection that fits your mood for the time. You can also select general aviation and it will load all the airplanes that fall in that class. So it's a really good way to decide you know, what you're feeling for the day and you can make a selection in accordance to that. You can also select based on manufacturer. So if you're really into a particular manufacturer, you don't need to scroll down until you find that manufacturer. You simply go to the manufacturer here and it will load up the air or show you the airplane that is man made by that particular company. And then also, if you have a studio that you like, for example, I just bought the V-Flight Air airplane, so I can simply select the design studio and I can see all the airplanes that I own from that designer. So in this case, I'll pick um, Aerobasque. That's a company that I've been supporting quite a bit. I love their airplanes. They're fun to fly and I enjoy the experience. So here you can select it based on the designer. Um, sometimes you know exactly what plane you want to fly. So instead of scrolling, you can simply type the name in the box and it will give you the airplane that you're looking for without having to scroll. Additionally, in this area, if you don't want to fly by yourself, you can add AI aircraft. And this is how you do it. You simply enable AI and add aircraft. The one option that I would encourage you to select is randomize aircraft each flight. This way, as they spawn, you're not hearing the same call signs or aircraft type, and you'll be able to fly around with them. They usually fly within your area. So if you're listening to ATC, you hear their um, communications, and also they'll in interact with you as well to sort of like get a landing clearance in front of you or fly past you. It's all part of the fun. I've not selected enable combat, but I imagine if you fly, um, you know, if you enjoy that sort of thing, you can play around with this, especially if you fly the F-14 or any of the air combat aircraft. So I don't do that very often, but maybe in the next video, if you're interested, I'll do a segment where I'll try my hand at air to air combat. Okay, so once you've got that selected, you can hit done. And that concludes the first section of the flight configuration. We've got three more sections to look at. And so we're gonna start with the location. Now for many of us, you simply will type in the airport that you wanna go to, in this case, KGFK, and you'll load up the airport and you'll go. And I wanna show you some things that you can do that will really enhance your experience. So let's go ahead and select customize and it's gonna expand a window. And now you can make certain choices. For example, I can type the airport code if I remember it, and that will show me all the airplanes with that airport, not the airplanes, all the airports with that airport code. And I can start with that, but that's just part of it. You can also select the ID and you can select by city. So let's say you went to Florida and you had a great time in Miami and you want to check out some of the airports. You simply type the city name and it's going to give you all the airports within that geographical area and you can start flying out of those airports as well. So that's a lot of fun as well, too. Um, you can do by state and you can quickly look at all your favorites. So if you ever fly to an airport and you make it a favorite, so these are my favorites, then I can quickly select them and start. Now, as you select your airport, there's an area that you shouldn't ignore is this sub window right here. You can select to either start at a three mile approach, 10 mile approach, 
or you can start on the ramp. And when you select the ramp, you can choose wherever you want to spawn from. So you can choose all the areas in the ramp or just the usable ones for your aircraft type. So this allows you to be more granular in selecting where you spawn from. Now, for those who really don't know what they want to do. So you've got 30 minutes to fly and you're like, I don't know what I want to do. Well, there are some special starts that you can select. So in this case, when you select the special starts, you can spawn on a grass strip and they give you a choice of different grass strips. Dirt strips, try your hand at that. You can try seaplane airport. You can try helipad. You can do formation flying. You can do get me lost and allow X-plane to plop you into any airport and you can figure out where you are. So that's a great option that, you know, if you're like me, probably didn't spend a lot of time in this area. So I wanted to take some time to let you know that this area is available for use as well too. So we will go back to the air. Uh, the airplane starts and we'll go back to the flight configuration window. Now we're going to get to the third section, which is the weather, and we'll wrap up with the time of day. So weather is really cool. If you're in a rush, you can simply uncheck this box and you can choose different type of weather experiences. So if you want to practice your IFR approaches down to minimums, you can select IFR precision and it's going to create the conditions that will meet that requirement so you can practice your approaches or if you're a vfr pilot like me you can try your hand at vfr broken if you want to do some marginal work see if you can get in under a special vfr you can set those conditions as well but that's not all you can also build your own weather unique weather so you select customize and here is where you get to build your own ideal weather environment select manual and now you can add any cloud layer so in this case when you select it it will you look at the left window and these are the choices that have been made you can make changes to the weather conditions so these are cumulus clouds and you want the clouds to be overcast so it's going to cover all of the sky and then you can also set your base and you can also set your heights. And X-Plane will also make certain limitations, certain criteria for the cloud type. So if you select cirrus clouds, you'll notice that it's a thin layer of clouds. If you do cumulonimbus clouds, it's gonna be a thicker layer of clouds because that's how these clouds perform or are found in nature. Um, so you can make some changes, but it's gonna adhere to the cloud type so what the expectation will be and then if you put in too many clouds and you're like ah i want to delete a cloud layer simply select and do delete a cloud layer and that cloud layer is gone now as you're messing around with the cloud layer you've got the right window where you can change your visibility you can add precipitation you can change your temperature lower the temperature make it cold you can change your altimeter setting as well too and that will all affect the performance of your airplane as well you can change your runway conditions where the wind is coming from variations over time and this is great because what happens is as you're flying you can make the weather deteriorate over time so the more you fly the worse the weather will get um, and you can make some variations in the area so some areas are going to decrease some areas are going to get better and that's all in the manual um, weather settings if you're like me I like to fly with actual weather conditions because as a pilot I don't get to choose my weather so I simply go to real world and here you'll just refresh and it'll show you this is the current conditions as of the time that has been selected so once you're comfortable with this area you hit done and it brings you back to here now the time of day affects the weather so if you look down here if I unselect track wheel world date and time I can go back in time and as I go back in time it will download the weather conditions for the time that I selected and with X-Plane 12.3.0, the weather update, you can go back to up to a year in time and load the actual condition. So as you see, as I select a different time, it downloads the weather condition for that time. Now, how do I get to a year ago or six months ago? For this, you have to jump into customize and this is where you can go back and select a time. So if I wanted the weather on July 4th at 6 p.m., 
it will download the weather conditions as you see for right now for two months ago in 22 days and these are the um, weather conditions for that day um, if you do track real world date and time it will bring you back into the current time in the sim and that's usually how i set it up so as you can see you've got a lot of options when you plan your next flight and you can quickly choose and set up your ideal scenario before you launch into the sim so if you've enjoyed this video and you found it helpful why don't you consider leaving me a thumbs up it means a lot to me it lets me know that i'm doing something right and if you enjoyed this video or other videos on this channel would you consider subscribing so that you don't miss the next video that comes out usually on tuesday or wednesday of every week and if you already done both all 200 of you thank you so very much so enjoy sharing this experience with you i enjoy reading the comments i enjoy watching your content as well um and my simple wish for you today is happy simming and i will see you in the next video